What's going on guys? My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to learn 10 different ways to do a backflip. The first backflip for today, the back tuck. For the back tuck we want to make sure our eyes stay forward. Our chest sets up as we pull our legs up and over our head and hold tight for the ride. Backflip number two, the open tuck. The open tuck is the same idea as number one, except for this time we're not grabbing onto our tuck, we're just holding our body in that tight ball shape. This is a great lead up for more advanced skills such as the layout or the full. It shows that we have the ability to generate a backwards flip without using our tuck. Number three, it's gotta be the back layout. The back layout in gymnastics and the back layout in parkour are slightly different things. We're gonna be doing the parkour one because you try doing a gymnastics layout from standing. Just like before, we are setting up, but this time we're gonna push our hips and drive them up and over our head. This will put us in a nice banana shape as we flip all the way around, and then we're gonna have to tuck in our legs to land back on the ground on the other side. Number four is going to be the flash kick. The flash kick is similar to the layout, except as we take off, we're gonna kick one leg in front so we have a nice split in the air. This move can be done from standing or from a J-step. Number five, back pike. This one is just like our back tuck, except we're in a pike position while we flip. Number six, and this one's probably my favorite, the low back tuck. Just start in a crouch position and try to stay as low to the ground as possible. You're gonna have to tuck pretty hard. Number seven is the gainer. A gainer is any backflip that moves forward or gains distance. Number eight is the back stall. The goal here is to delay the tuck. Exaggerate the set so it looks like you're about to die. Then you tuck your legs over and land really, really low if you did it right. Now I'm not the best at this, so here's an example of somebody doing a back stall that is really, really good. We want there to be almost no flip from the start. Number nine, the wall flip. This one's a bit of a cheat because we're using another object besides just the ground, but it's one of my favorites and it's one of the most fun, so you guys should definitely do this one. As you step on the wall, you really want to make sure you're looking at your foot. This will help you set up and rise through the flip. And number 10, the I just learned how to do this and I'm really, really scared. Please send help. I feel like I'm going to die backflip. Thanks for watching this video, guys. It was a blast to make. I hope you guys can get outside and try some of these on your own time, but remember to train safe train smart and use proper progressions when you're learning something new. If you like this video, go ahead, click the like button, give us a comment below, tell us what your favorite part was, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for watching.